Do you know what I mean? But soon we're gonna hop in game here in just a moment. More difficult, but now Q is in, in uh, not a good place right now. Cold Snap is not either. He locks in the terribly, but he is gonna be the first to fall. The power shot flying. Oh, Cold Snap. He does double damage, but there's a lot of damage there for the Metamorphosis, but he's very, very squishy to magic resistance. The wand charges keep him up for a little bit longer. XH will fall, and I think C-Dad... No, the Shackle! No attack to follow up. 44 HP is what he lives with, and that double damage pays off. Oh, Earthshaker says no. Makes it a lot easier to just push out the lanes and probably get the last hits for it as well with your illusions. Uh, but I don't know. I don't think it's the best item for Terrorblade here, but obviously it's what the Chinese teams like doing. But I have seen reports, at least Western opinion, is that the Chinese teams are, are playing Terrorblade wrong. I don't know how accurate that really is, as she hasn't seen much play, really, so it's hard to really say what's right or wrong. But we got a big team fight breaking out here. The Ravage from 3 3 3 is tied. It's gonna be what pretty much seals the deal. DK lose 3 in the midst of it, but maybe it went down and gave up the They immediately know. Dyer's who you are. Like, you no longer have the mystery of, like, which Terrorblade is real. Like, the Terrorblade that is massive, possibly Dyer's yelling for Cosmo Dawn and yellow, Dyer's is probably the one with the BKB. But here we go, maybe gonna drop a Dream Coil looking for the support. And, oh, the Ice Blast is coming in along with the Ravage! There's a lot used just to get the Core Crystal mated, but maybe with the Horde will find Cold Snap and Garter. Oh, there it goes. He lets off the Echo Slam. Oh, that's it. Onto the Crystal Maiden, Antimage blinks out, the Reflection to Chase, that thing is so annoying. Uh, but here's Terrorblade Metamorphosis, that's going to force the BKB out here, trying to bring him down. There's the Sunder though, that's what you got to be worried about, he can get it off with the BKB. Get him out of that silence, he will bring down the Death Prophet. It doesn't matter how tanky you, you are, if Terrorblade is low, you're at right now. There you go, alright, this is going to be an engagement right here. LGC deck is smoked up as well, Dreamy using the Roche Pit, trying to get a kill here. The Ice Blast was... Uh, a little cancelled out there, couldn't launch it, does finally launch it, but I don't think it's going to be uh, hitting anybody. And there's the Echo Slam from Garter coming in, trying to land on Cold Snap. Will bring him down, but he's not going to live much longer for this either. And Alright, Anti-Mage is going to start to get involved right now as uh, Pog trying to get away. What the Exorcism to use, if they want to use it here. There's no Earthshaker, that's a big part of the team fight. We're going to keep our eyes locked on 3-3-3 as he blinks in. Ravage on to 2, he gets some Anchor Smash on both, reducing the damage. That's going to be the Wind Ranger to fall first. Dreamy wants to get involved now, did not finish off the Roche, gets caught with the Coil and an Ice Blast, no HP regen there, no life steal from the Vlads, and 4v4, it's LGC deck. ...into enemy territory if he needs to, he's got the Haste, the Aegis, actually went for it, Ags, wow, that's pretty cool actually. Cold Snap's gonna start things off with a hook outside the base, but he's gonna find, there he is, Puck's gonna get him, and he will go down very, very quickly, no buyback available, that seems a bit reckless to fight outside the base. Now Garter's gonna come in with an Echo Slam, not on too many, Puck needs to drop that coil, actually he already did, there he does catch the feature in the BKB, he's got the Ags upgrade, it pierces, spell immunity, so cool item pick up there, the first time I've seen a Puck Ags in competitive play in my entire casting career, so that's actually pretty big, obviously got bugs, so that's why we see it, but... Uh, the GG will come out from DK. They try to replicate the success they had against, uh, was it Speed Gaming, I believe, uh, that they were playing, and it, it doesn't work out here. It wasn't bad by any means, but LCD C deck knew what they were doing. They itemized the Terrorblade differently. They played it a little bit differently, and I would be willing to say more correctly than going for the Radiance. So I like to see that, but uh, we've got some more games coming up. This is LGDC deck taking the victory over DK, who for the day have, I believe, gone 1-1. I don't know what the first two games of the day were, but...